Welcome on back everybody to this crunch playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. In the last one we did the Royal Medal side quests. Um, and they're actually pretty good. I quite like them. You had the the dog there just to go out and kill bearers, which we got a revenge for, then the dog killed them. And we had the little girl whose sort of plaything was of an actual person called Chloe, who was turned into rock. Did some exploration, we went up to the tower above our sort of head. And around there we found um this the hand of the Mimus Mimus but uh yeah I don't think with that as of yet sort of hoping there might have been a um fast travel point there but there's no fast travel point here that looks like the rural capital the rural capital yeah look at it Minas Tirith but we're going to speak to Bertrand in more if the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Oh, we need to go. Oh, Let's get to the merchant then. Anything. Guy blade. Nope. 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 Uh, I could get this. Uh, let's just grab the potion. Why not? If that's what you want. Is that what you want? Uh, I'm going to grab this as well. Go on, take it. Sell all valuables here. Got 12,000 gills here. Plenty of gill, which is good. Thanks for nothing. What do you mean, thanks for nothing? I've just bought some stuff off you, arsehole. Uh, I don't think there's anything else of note. A nice little village outside of the capital. Bertrand. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. But only one's been seen quarrelling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Speak to the traveling trader. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? I'm not a deserter. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for a constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But Although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean. Most helpful. Right. Yes, yeah, so off to 
here. Obviously, I haven't explored this part of the world. We'll just pop up my little head up here, though. They tell you to go left, you go right. Unnamed chapel. just yet then see this is why you explore ladies and gents for black blood Fine. I'm gonna go to the nearby ruins. Look at that. It's quite grand to get into the uh, capital. See if there's anything to pillage en route. Does not look like it. Some wargan though. It That's... smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. <laughs> Bloated wolf. boot of the mighty that is a sharp fang and a bloody hide they're both dead damn it all bodies I'm a... well the wolves have been busy but the blood is long dry So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's gonna find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. If only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. 
Sure thing. I need to tell this. Checking my throat two secs. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. Yeah. A lot of death. Very few happy endings at the moment. Black blood, skill. Weren't expecting any new brand. Oh. If it was a message that needed. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. God, I've tickles in my throat. Thank Apologies. You for I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Nice. Just me to write, though. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Fetch! Yep. Okay, let's head up to the abandoned chapel. We obviously went up there just a minute ago. I do feel sorry for Tatiana. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door.
Okay. The pleasure houses. safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. <laughs> Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. So then. How do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the helmet, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the Outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. What have we got? Drake's head. Think there's anything new to be done? Reach the pivotal moment in this story. If you continue, not be able to return. Proceed. Uh, no. Let's quickly head here. It seems like we're going to go in for a long haul.
guessing because he's got no symbol above him. Take a seat, Clive. He doesn't have anything for us. Hand. Anything catch your eye? Always something in there. Okay. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Sound happy. Look what the curl dragged in. Go on then. Just checking to see if there's anything. Potions and stuff I've got. I'm probably not going to be using these, but. Is that all? It is what it is. Right. Unfortunately, ladies and gents, we're going to call this one episode another short one. But if we look at the world map, we're going to go into um, Drake's head here. And yeah, obviously, with the um, notice that we got about pivotal point in the story, I feel like it's going to be non stop from there. So I want to separate that into its own little episode or episodes from there on in um do we have anything ability wise that we can do 400 points we cannot so yeah a short one but uh please like comment subscribe all of that good stuff anyway it really does help me out to thank you for support for the playthrough and as always there'll be some more final fantasy 16 coming at you in the next one